Museum Exhibit Awards Miss Nonaba Sam A. Quen of Nishti A. Dene College Museum Curator Nile, Koten Hasif Yeto Nihijet Hadizi. Yanting Shig Eno Shigna, She Nanaba Edishijine, it's a Hinish long of the Kijikis Ani Dene, Bashishi. Meet the Havani, the Shite, Dogalagana, and the Shinola, or Dana, we host the Ninchle. My take was your eyes in that Nasha. I don't take her to know a gay, are they? I don't just a key. I don't in the call, Shinana Shishle, Museum Curator Ainishle. Good evening, everyone. It's definitely a pleasure to see all of you guys in here tonight. and. To be able to fit this many people in here, it amazes me. So um, do me a favor and give Teresa a round of applause again. Wasn't she an amazing speaker? So last year when the first cohort did their show, it was pretty amazing to see some of the work that they produced last year. As I um, came in on Sunday to work on Sunday, and put this small exhibit together, I was so amazed at the work that came in and I cannot um, extend enough gratitude and appreciation to the students who are in this year's cohort. I always tell people, you know, we're all artists one way or another and so it's really amazing to see people produce the type of work that's been produced um, for this show tonight. So I hope you all get a chance to take a look at the work in the back. And um, without any further ado, we'll get started with the awards. So I'm going to move this way. So for um, the President's Choice Award, the Net College President's Award, is going to go to Mr. Samuel Slater. Next, we have the Board of Regents President's Award, and this award is going to go to Miss Sue Begay. Next, we have the Best Textile Award. And this award goes to <coughs> Miss Heather Williams. Next we have Best of Silverwork Award, and this award goes to Samuel M. Slater. Next we have Best of Leatherwork Award, and this goes to Miss Sue Begay. <laughs> Next we have the Best of Show Award. And this one is awarded to 
Ms. Heather Williams. We have one more award, and this one is the um, Preserving the Legacy of a Master Weaver Award. And I'm going to ask Teresa to come up, um, mainly because this award is sponsored by um, Regent Patrapi. So. <clears throat> and this award goes to Miss Heather Williams. It's amazing to see what students can produce when they put their mind to something. And so tonight, I hope that all the students who are in this cohort understand what it takes to be a master at your art piece. And so I extend my congratulations to all of you. Um, those who have um, taken home awards and to those who will continue to master their art piece. Thank you, and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you again for everyone. I would like to take this time to acknowledge all the artists involved in INCAP. Uh, first, we have Dwayne Bahi, Silversmith, 2015-16 uh, cohort. Also, Paula Begay, Weaver, 2016-2017 cohort. Uh, Sue B. Begay, Moccasin Maker and Weaver, 2016-2017 cohort. Ty Draper, Moccasin Maker in 2016 and 17 cohort. And Jerome Nance, Silversmith, 2016 and 2017 cohort. Also, now we have our emerging artists that join us. Um, Ms. Michelle Salabai, Moccasin Maker, 2016-2017 cohort. Samuel Slater, Silversmith, Moccasin Maker, 2016-2017 cohort. Delia Wanika, Silversmith, 2015-2016 cohort. And Heather Williams, Weaver, 2016 and 2017 cohort. Uh, this event was actually co-sponsored and it's also a collaboration between many departments and also or, um, offices here at the college. We have the Navajo Cultural Arts Program, the Ned Hatsbali Center Museum, Center for Diné Studies, Diné College, Kia'ani Library as well. And uh, we will be moving forward along in our agenda, but I just wanted to make a quick note because uh, some of you probably have checked out the Navajo Cultural Arts Program website. Um, and on there, they actually have current blogs from the, um, from the artists who are in the program. And I wanted to mention that I was reading uh, some of your blogs about your trip to uh, the Totalina um, trading post and the Two Great Hills trading post. Um, that's actually where I'm originally from. So you probably saw a lot of artwork, um, weavings from the Jumbos um, all the way down to the Wilsons. Uh, definitely it's a great opportunity for you to explore um, the tapestry and the master pieces that are at the Two Great Hills area. They call it the Two Great Hills rug design. Um, and you probably saw my little rug too at the trading post. Um, that was actually my first piece that I wove. I was like three years old. Um, I traded it for some candy and ice cream. <laughs> so it's still there. It's not for sale. But I just wanted to commend all the artists um, who have been participating in this program for the past um, year, also to the past cohorts. Um, just representing Diné College as emerging artists is very, very um, heartfelt and warm to pretty much the Navajo Nation. So continue your endeavors in the field of your expertise and we hope to see um, a lot come out from you in the future in terms of your art, your artwork, even going down to the Heard Museum. I read your blogs about that. It was really interesting. Um, and also they are going to 
format this lecture into a YouTube video that you can find on the Navajo Cultural Arts Program website. Um, with that said, we will move right along to the closing remarks, uh, closing remarks by Naho Jij, Dr. Christine Ami A. Grant, Manager Nalanti, Incap Ba, Achi Neheje Hazi Dole Afto. Thank you for everybody. There are such great presenters here. I have nothing to say, so it's a lot of food. Um, no, I'm just kidding. I really want to thank each and every one of you guys for, for, for attending. It's wonderful to see so many familiar faces, friends, um, you know, instructors, students, the cohort members, uh, people who I've butchered with. Um, so, uh, so that's always wonderful. I wanted to take a moment and say thank you uh, once again to Teresa and the concept of philosophy. When we take a look at philosophy, and this is something that we also stress in the program, and in my own classes, it's not something that we just think about. It's an actual action. We do it. Um, so when a lot of people come in to study Navajo people, they study the Navajo philosophy. They study it as if it was something that's abstract, something that's out there. And the amazing part about this cohort, the amazing part about the program, is that they don't just talk about the abstract. They take that and they, and they do it. And from there, that comes to life. So it's a different perspective on how we look at that thing. We look at it from a Western perspective, and take a look at the idea, and then we move into it. Instead, we have philosophy that actually comes out of the product. So I wanted to say thank you know, each one of the cohort members uh, for, for doing that and taking the time to to really focus on that. In their philosophy class, um, this semester they're learning how to do uh, water drugs. And some of the students said, well, why are we learning how to do another another craft? And I said, well, because the philosophy comes from the craft. It comes from the doing. And so, you know, working with the natural materials, how do you collect the natural materials? How do you release the natural materials? How do you put pieces together? How do you destroy them? And how do you make something beautiful? And so these are the kinds of things that the students are really putting into practice. And, and I appreciate that, because that's what we see out there in those uh, four cases, um, not just from this cohort, but from the previous cohort, and from our instructors, our staff members. We have uh, Michelle Pacente's pieces out there, Dr. Wilson Aronalis, um, previous cohort, Carla Ami, and Delia Lenique is here. She has some of her, her classic um, pieces out there as well. So thank you to everybody who's doing that. Who's, who's doing philosophy, not just talking about it. And it was a struggle. Um, Teresa talked a lot about you know, uh, getting in the ground and your back hurting. And, and I think getting prepared for this exhibit pushed that, um, that teaching to a whole new level. You guys got a chance to understand what does it mean to have a deadline and actually have to stick to it. Um, I know we joke about Indian time, <laughs> but, um, but there are deadlines. And, and so when we're working at this level, um, you guys really took took that to a whole new level, and I'm, I'm, I'm proud of you guys for, for pushing through that. Some of you guys wanted to quit, some of you guys wanted to pull out, some of you guys, I don't need you to put, I'm, I met my limit, I met the minimum, right? I, that's all that I need to do for, for the exhibit, for the program, to get my grade. But you guys put yourself to the next level. You took that extra time to buff things. You took that extra time to make sure that your, your wefts were perfect. You took that extra time to work with your leather, rework the leather. So that extra time pays off, and I hope that you guys are, um, appreciate that because we as viewers we definitely do. So I would like to uh, thank you. Uh, Winnie covered a whole bunch of stuff that I was going to take uh, take a look at, um, but just in case you guys are interested in the program, feel free to contact us. We're we're here. Our office is on the first floor. Um, I would like to thank uh, Krista Littleben. She's our project coordinator. All of the people who are in attendance. Uh, President Russell stopped in. Um, and so thank you guys for taking the time and, and joining us. If you guys have any questions, um, be, feel free to contact us. We are, more, we are found on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Talk to Malcolm Bob about that. He can, he can fill you in with all the technologies. If you guys haven't had a chance to vote, there's one more really important award that has not been offered up, and that's the Community Choice Award. For me, this is the most uh, exciting award because we never know what's going to happen. Um, it's based off of what community members who come into the exhibit and they pick what they think is the best of show. So we've had judges come in. We had three judges who specialize in silver work, in uh, leather work, and in weaving to, to give these awards. 
But for me, this special, this ward is a special because it comes from the community. So we get to pick what we think it is. So if you guys haven't voted for that, you have till Friday, and we will make a public announcement uh, next week, hopefully um, in the newspaper, so you guys can keep your eyes out for that. And we'll also post it on our Facebook and uh, the Divinity College web page. Mm -hmm. so, thank you very much. And uh, we will.